Let's read a book. Let's read a book. Today we are going to read Rabbi Goes to the Supermarket. I'm rapping and snapping all the time. Whenever I talk, I'm talking in rhyme. I'm rapping in the basement. I'm rapping in the kitchen. I rap when a mosquito bites and really gets me itching. My mom said, let's go. I have errands to run. I'd rather stay home. Errands aren't any fun. Rabbi, mom hollered, we've got to go out. I rolled my eyes and began to pout. Where are you taking me? I really want to know. Why are you making me? I don't want to go. Are we going to the cleaners? Are we going on vacation? Are we going to the car wash or maybe the gas station? Mom pulled the car into a lot. She couldn't find a parking spot. Then, at last, she finally parked it. We were at the supermarket. Buying stuff is such a drag. Mom got out her shopping bags. Supermarkets are so boring. I already feel like snoring. Wait a minute, Mommy said. There's something that I missed. How can I do my shopping? I forgot my shopping list. Don't worry, Mom, I said. We don't need to go home. I remember all the stuff. I wrote a little poem. Mustard, custard, complex cupcakes, pork shops, cock drops, cold cuts, peanuts, apple flyer, kitty lighter, clam clouder, food powder, chips and dips and bacon strips. Mom and I went down each aisle. I think we must have walked a mile. Then I have a million kinds of cheese, breads, and honey made by bees, cookies, gum, and juice in jars. Look at those candy bars. Treats and goodies make me drool. Hey, supermarkets can be cool. We got a dozen jumbo eggs, some milk, some cake and turkey legs, toothpaste and windshield scrapper. But what about the toilet paper? Oh, never mind, Mom said. Forget it. No, Mom, I said. I'll go get it. I told Mom I do my best and I set out on my quest. I'd search the shelves to reach my goal and find the toilet paper roll. Supermarkets are amazing. They have seven kinds of raisins, pretzels and crackers for hungry snackers. They could feed the Green Bay Packers, bodies of noodles and all kinds of scoop. They have soup that makes you poop. At last I found what I was needing. In my chest my heart was beating. But when I pulled one roll from under, they came a sound a lot like thunder. I knew that it was time to go when someone yelled, Watch out below! And then the toilet paper mountain ran down upon me like a fountain. Help! I shouted. Then I said, There is toilet paper on my head! The manager came running over. His name tag said to call him Grover. He didn't look like he was happy when I said my name was Rappy. The manager said, You are a beast. You made a mess. I know I'm feeling lots of stress. I'm gonna scream and lose control unless you pick up every roll. I was feeling kind of sick. I have to think of something quick. 
Attention shoppers, on aisle 4 there is something on the floor, something that I know you need. This stuff works, it's guaranteed. It never fails, it won't get stale, and today only is on sale. You can wear it on your head or give it to your uncle Fred. You could get some up for your cousin, I think you should buy a dozen. But just in case you forgot them, this is something for your bottom. I'll take three, some lady said. I can store them in my shed. I want ten, yelled one tall man, who put them in his minivan. Give me some, say another, I can share them with my brother. In the end, the floor was clean, and Grover was no longer mean. He didn't scream and he didn't yell, he just said, this kid can sell. I'm Rappy the Raptor, and I like to say, I may not talk in the usual way. I love hoping and I love bumping, and now I know that I love shopping. Si te gustó este video, dale me gusta y no te olvides de suscribirte. También entra a www.cladacosta.com para adquirir práctica de este y de otros temas, productos exclusivos y tener la oportunidad de matricularte a mis clases de inglés.